last thing we want to demonstrate is flash and why we check it. Flash is something that is difficult for some people to understand until you actually see it. Flash is actually an area of a treated field that doesn't actually come in contact with the patient. It flashes over the top. You'll most commonly see this on breast patients and sometimes, or you'll usually see it also on a whole brain. In this particular case, we want to check the flash on a breast. And to do that on the lateral tangent, you can look right up at the ceiling and see the light, which represents the radiation beam flashing over the top of your patient, where you have a beam of light actually on the ceiling. What that shows you is several things. It shows you that the field size is set correctly, that the blocking is set correctly. If you, let's say for instance the field side didn't set correctly, you would see something like that instead of seeing the entire breast plus flash flashing up onto the ceiling. Also, sometimes if the doctor set a very small amount of flash on a large breasted woman, after three or four weeks of treatment she gets swelling. If she swells, sometimes the flash will just disappear. It will look like that. If the person has swelling and it's significant enough that part of her breast is actually outside the treatment field, that's not a good thing either. You need to actually have dosimetry. Do a recalculation with a slightly open field so that you can actually accommodate that swelling breast. Lastly, you will make sure that your blocking is not backwards. Sometimes MLCs can get misprogrammed if you're using actual cerebin blocks, if you put the wrong one in or you put it in backwards, you're going to block breast and treat lung. You don't want to do that. And that will, you, know, you will immediately see by checking flash that that's not happening. It should always look like kind of a, a mountain in the distance, if nothing else. That's kind of the way it looks to me anyway. So checking flash gets you several things. Make sure the field size is correct, the blocking is correct, and that the person doesn't have significant swelling causing them to not be encompassed by the entire radiation field.